lights are flashing through the blazing heat The engines roar and the tires squeal The need is urgent and the danger is real Trouble big or trouble small There's no worries they can handle it all We have with us Chief Ken Miola. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Good to be here. So what's going on in the uh, police department these days? Well, it's uh, been a busy year so far. Uh, we've had a lot going on, actually. Uh, you know, pro- probably uh, most prevalent in everyone's mind is is the Bearcat, uh, the armored vehicle that mm. that we we recently acquired. Um, it's a rescue vehicle. Uh, it could be used for search and rescue. It could be used for uh, any number of issues in uh, man-made or national emergencies such as flooding. Um, it's a rescue vehicle. 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 opening okay there's two others underneath it that white box yes. that's that's actually the gas um, monitoring system uh, radiation the, the first box you see with the joystick on it that moves the cameras up and down uh, 360 degree rotation a police radio where are the cameras it's up, up front on the front passenger corner the other corners are are equipped with uh, spotlights. Those knobs there, those are those are the joysticks for the the spotlights. They move them around and up and down. Passenger can use the camera. The passenger may get out and, and join if it's if it's a tactical team operation. He's probably going to be on the team and he'd probably be with the team. Could you show us opening the turret? Would you be able to do that? It just it just pops open. It's hydraulic, like your lift gate on your SUV. Um, the cover of it is rated the same as the truck. What is the truck rated for? 50 caliber. That's the stand. If, if you wanted to climb out of the truck or, or, or man that, that manhole there, the turret manhole there, that's, it's a three position stand. It goes at the three levels. It's an automatic and the hub is a manual locking hub. So you either have free or locking hubs. So you get out and you lock the hubs in and then you can engage the four wheel drive system. So if somebody shot at one of these windows, they're bulletproof, right? Yeah, it is a new piece of equipment for our tactical teams. The mats that I showed you for the skip fire um, rounds. If you have a big parking lot like this and the, and the team is needed for whatever the incident may be, um, there's really no good way for the team to approach a building like this that has such a big parking lot. It's a gas gas motor. Open it and it show us how it works. And it just pulls open. Okay. It just shuts. Tires are run flat tires. Mm-hmm. That's the camera. The camera's up there. Power mirrors. Two way intercom. Uh, thanks for the information. Uh, You're all set? Okay. Yeah, I'm James. Uh, can I Steve. Speak? Nice to meet you, Steve. Thank you. Do you have any facts about the vehicle? That What would you like to know? Uh, this truck here carries a lot of that specialty equipment. This is our rescue. We have a uh, power cord to run uh, lights or fans. Right. Fan, we run sawzalls, any type of tools that we need to run. Skill saws. Stabilizer struts. These are for stabilizing vehicles. Okay. If they're on their side, rolled over or something, we need to stabilize them to get people out. Uh, we can use them for that. We can also use these ones here for uh, structural problems, like if a building's, say, a uh, a car ran into a building mm-hmm. or uh, a snow load on the building made a roof start to collapse. We can use these type of things with these bases on the bottom here, different attachments to help stabilize things. You have a first aid kit. First aid, yep. uh, when it has all the medical stuff on it so we can treat people. We just these are just stable blocks that we use to, like when we're stabilizing tires or something, we'll just, you know, crib up underneath it to keep mm-hmm. it, keep it from rocking. But yeah, and all the EMS supplies, um, we have a, it's called RIT, 
rapid intervention team, which means basically if a firefighter goes down in a building, this, this truck has equipment, another air pack set up, and some rope and stuff like that for us to be able to go in and uh, rescue our own people. Air pack bottles are here. Right out front. Bear bottles. All sets of uh, the Jaws of Life. These are called cutters here. This, these here is like a pair of scissors, but they'll cut through you know, anything, just anything pretty much. Metal, any types of metal. These are the spreaders or combination tool. This will cut and spread. Like a lot of times the doors and cars will get mm -hmm. jammed. So we can stick it in between the little crack there in the door and pry it open and it'll pop the door off. That's we, a pump for it. That's a pump. That's a portable unit. The truck has a unit in it, so we can run off the truck. Or if you say you're way out in the woods or yeah. or in a building, say we need to pry a machine apart or something like that, we can bring that in a building to operate. And that hose behind it, that, that's looped up, up top there, that top compartment is full of speedy drive. You know, <laughs> it's kitty litter basically. Like, like up top there's a bunch of what they call them, coffins or whatever, uh, that just, they're not open or anything because we don't want to okay. get water in them. But. There's, uh, you know, there's a, a, a boat up top that's an inflatable boat that's up in the air and there's uh, life jackets and stuff like that. Things that we don't need immediately that we can, you know, we, we, when we get there we can get them up and go up together. This is uh, from like here over and up to here. There's a cascade system of three, there's a, these are the bottles that are on there in, in the middle of the truck and it's to fill the air packs. So and we don't have enough spare bottles just to keep, you know, you got to fill them at some point. This here opens up and the bottle goes in there and then you have to close it. Um, and then you fill the bottle and it's in here because if for some reason the bottle failed and it exploded, that's supposed to be uh, explosion proof so it doesn't hurt you. <coughs> this here is uh, for all the various air tools that we might have. Um, like, uh, you know, the uh, um, airbags, stuff like that. If we need to have remote air, this is an air card is what it's called, and all it is is just air. These are the airbags, some of the airbags in here. Here's a little one. This is, like, this has a capability of 4.3 tons to pick up 4.3 tons. What's kind of neat about them is that, because they'll explode up like a, like a balloon, or expand up to like a balloon, you can take the air off them and you can even hold it like that, and it's not that much pressure. You can hold it hmm. with your finger. Mm -hmm. uh, 31 ton basically is what this one would pick up. So this one would pick the rescue up without a problem. You drove the rescue's tires, back tires under this, you could pick it right up in the air. That chainsaw. Same idea, you know, an electric uh, core. The stretcher. It was actually an inverter, but basically a generator. Uh, just all the various tools that are around here. Oh yeah, let's see that. You mind if I stick my camera? Oh no, in go ahead. Just jump up in there if you want. <laughs> oh cool. I don't think they'll let me do that at the other one. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> oh, thank you. To your left there. Wow, this right, is right behind you. Is like these are all our our wa our cold water rescue, swift water rescue equipment right here. In the right front, the lieutenant or the well, lieutenant usually does, but the captain could or whoever. Um, he's the guy in charge for the most part. Up, mm -hmm. up in the right front. Um, uh, or passenger side, and uh, you know he can say, "Hey, make sure I want you to do this. I want you to do that." And you can talk to everybody that's in the truck here. It's nice. It's quiet and stuff like that. So. Well, th thanks for showing me uh, yeah, well, I guess it, you know, this vehicle. Yeah. I'm James. To me, you guys are like truly heroes. And <laughs> well, you know what? I uh, I love what I. We all love what we do for a job, and we hate hate things, bad things to happen to people, but things do happen to people, and. If I'm, I'm glad to be working, if I can help you. So. Got a hose line coming back there for your water supply, so go ahead and hit it hard. But if you can't get it, Dave, let me know. We'll do it from the outside. Yeah. 
Is there a first aid kit aboard the vehicle? There will be one. Okay. What about the fire axe? I mean, if it's going to be a rescue vehicle. There's going to be equipment on it. Okay. It's not going to be a fire axe. <laughs> We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.